Hello everyone, my name is Albert, also known as Banshee. We are here um, streaming a new league. We're going to start playing it right now, but click uh, play league match. Um, we're going to be playing Death and Taxes like always. We will be jamming Leon and Arbiter. I'm playing four copies of Leon and Arbiter, as well as three copies of Ephemerate to abuse it. Um, got a pretty standard mana base. The deck list is in the description below. You should be able to check that out. Um, and we'll just see how we do tonight. Um, I felt pretty pretty down on taxes lately as creativity is a pain in the butt if we're not doing two colors. We're doing mono white um, and also kind of odd thing I'm doing is I'm playing three copies of Path to Exile on the sideboard as I feel like it is a lot more versatile than the three containment priests and then um, it also hits the archons and stuff like that which are just an absolute pain in the ass. Okay. Looks like we just got paired up. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. We won the die roll. And we are going to play first. Let's see what we got. Turn this down. Just a little bit. Okay. Um, not, not the best hand. This looks like it came... Ah, what the heck. I don't know. I feel like with Horizon Canopy, it's too um, damaging. This is a little better. This isn't much better. But we're going to keep this. I don't want to um, risk any more bad hands. We've got removal. As long as you don't get Thoughtseize turn one, we are good. We're going to keep this. We're going to toss this back. And we're going to say go. We're going to have our fingers crossed that this is not creativity. Um... Because that deck sucks to play against. Okay. Let's see what our opponent has for us. I guess it's our turn first. So I get to just lean on planes. Pretend like we're hammer time. It's my favorite thing to do. Okay. Playing planes. And we're passing over to our opponent. Also guys. If you see me mess up. Which I probably will mess up. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Oh. This is uh This is affinity, most likely. Well, we're gonna go ahead and play planes. Um, our ghost quarter and uh, our ghost quarter plan isn't gonna do anything. I am gonna hopefully hope to draw another white thing so that I can at least pitch my solitude. I like seeing a ganja. It's cool. Oh, damn, Stoneforge Mystic. Cool. Okay, let's see what they search for. Probably Cauldre Complete. I don't know why they'd search for anything else. Yep, Cauldre Complete. Um, now, in this position, I don't really want to be pitching my... Um, my Solitude. Oh, thank God. Okay, we have a Thalia... Um, I think we do, let's see, um, we do in our end step just want to hit that, so we're going to go ahead and do that, we're going to exile the white card out of our hand, this is a really slow hand, but if it pays off, I'm going to be happy, um, we will evoke, put that on the stack first, we'll target the stoneforge, um, we will pay one to let the exile resolve, and then we will ephemerate our solitude. Okay, sweet. Pretty rough. Okay, solitude's not gonna target anything. And then the evoke trigger just fizzles out. Let's we'll see what our opponent has. And you know, they honestly might have a shortage of basics, so later on in the game it might not be a bad thing to or right now might not be a bad thing to hit the... Oh. We'll probably hit the Years of Saga before they do anything with that. Springleaf Drum, that's fine. My next question is, do they have any flash things, which we don't want to have to deal with? We'll say okay. We're going to say no to the rebound. Um, Another Ghost Quarter. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play my Ghost Quarter. 
we're going to go ahead and attack. <clears throat> Hope they don't have a blocker. And then in end step, we're going to hit the uh, Urza Saga. Which, again, like I said, there is a very strong possibility that they are not playing a lot of basics. As Razor Tide Bridge makes up most, or those artifact lands make up a lot of their cards, and they have a basic. Okay. Um, sure, but that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. The, the land parity on our part was worth it. I feel like I'm convincing myself. Also, guys, if you see me misplay, just let me know in the comments below. I appreciate it. Man. <clears throat> Ooh, Thalia, sweet. We're going to go to combat. We're going to see if we can prank our opponent with the uh, Aganjo. Kill the Psy. Got him. Man, I feel like we are jund, just shooting down all their stuff. Okay. And we're just going to yield through our turn here. I'm not sure of anything that they could play that would be super duper scary, but that's super duper scary. Okay, when it enters the battlefield, they create a... Okay. So that's going to enter, and um, in response to this little trigger, we're just going to go ahead and exile that thing. Salt is just getting us, getting us there at this point. Does a lucky draw. Maybe they're playing Ephemerate <laughs> or Mana Tithe, which would suck. Which we got it. Um, I just know that there's a lot of combo potential, so we don't want to deal with it. Maybe we can like not draw a Stoneforge, which would be pretty sweet. Another land is not sweet. I'm just going to yield through the turn here. There's really no point in us swinging. But we'll see what happens. They do have four cards in hand, so. <clears throat> oh, and they just not had another uh, Urza. Okay. Well, in response to that, we are just going to sack to draw. Flicker Wisp is cool. Ephemerate would have been cooler. But Flicker Wisp is fine. Because um, we will be able to deal with these Construct tokens. I don't know if hitting... Jeez. I don't know if hitting the um, or oh, okay, sword foundry combo. We're just gonna let that go through. We're gonna swing with solitude. We're gonna flicker west bar solitude, and we're gonna hit the urza because I think that's the main piece of the puzzle here. Um, Stoneforge Mystic is pretty gas though. Um, but let's see here. Let's see what happens. There might be merit to uh, Stoneforge here. Guys, let me know what should, what should I do here. Um, should I Wisp or should I Stoneforge? Um, you know, if they have the sword combo, I think we just lose here. What do they need? They need an infinite source of mana, though. So we do have to hit the, um, the Solitude. We gotta kill the, the Urza. Because <coughs> even if they play the sword, they can only make as much mana as the, um, mana that they actually have. Okay. We're going to hit Urza. Okay. 
Okay. They are tapping the sword for mana to create a uh, Thopter, sure. I mean, they can definitely outvalue us. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Um, if we can get Stoneforge down, I mean, if we draw land here, that'd be pretty sick. Um, we don't have any play. They had another one. They had all three Urzas in hand. Damn. Okay, seven. We can't take that. We're going to chump one. I think that is the play that we have to make here. They have another spring of drum. Cool. How much man does this cost? Oh, that just made our day. Okay, we're gonna play Stoneforge Mystic. Sorry, my cat is sniffing around. We're gonna grab Lion Sash here because I think that's pretty important. Hmm. We don't have Sword of Light and Shadow. No, I think we grab Lion Sash here. The combo might come into effect. And then. We gotta keep. I don't think we can survive this turn. Um, okay. Let's see, that's a lot of damage coming out of our face. <clears throat> They have one card in hand. Oh shoot. Hold up, let's read this. Shuffle your library, then exile the top card until I'm trying to play a card. Okay, that's fine. Thought monitor to draw two. Oh, okay. I mean, they're definitely gonna kill us on power. And now I regret cutting Kataki from the sideboard. But it is what it is. Okay, Urza Saga, that's fine. Um, oh man, these get plus one for just artifacts? Yeah, just artifacts. Okay. It's terrible. It's a really slow start that I shouldn't have kept. Okay. Six, seven. Oh my god, just calls are complete. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get out of this one. I mean, we'll see what happens here. Maybe they just misclick and go through combat. Yeah, there's no block in that. Okay. We gonna scoop here. Okay, we're gonna concede this. Um, cause that sucks. Damn, they had all three freaking Urzas. Jeez. That's nuts. Okay, here we go. Um, I think our obvious bring-ins here are the Paths and the Lorens. I think our Arbiter plan is really soft here. I'm going to end up cutting those. Um, <coughs> I'll cut Aethalia. Just because we have so many non-creatures. Um... I'm gonna cut a Skrelv. Got two more cuts to make. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut all my Arbiters and just say, screw it to that plan. Okay, Let's see what happens. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. We won the die roll. We we're going first. Um, okay, yeah, sure. We keep. Turn one uh, giver is pretty good. It's pretty good. If we can get either Skrelv or Giver down, that'd be sick. Really, Giver is the, the main go-to card that we love here. Well, you we just heal through the turn. There's nothing for us to do. Um, the sword's going to be huge. Unless they just slam down Cauldra again. Okay, so they have two basics. We might end up losing this one, but 
We're just here to have fun. And they just prismatic ending. It's fine. Um, we're going to yield through the turn again. I don't know why it keeps deselecting it. Okay, our turn, Stoneforge, is pretty awesome. Do you have the removal opponent? We might be able to aggro them out, which is pretty sweet as well. Um, I do just want Cauldron in my hand right now. Yes. We're going to Cauldra. And then we're going to yield through the turn again. I'm very much okay with them wasting a whole turn on pending the giver. I just think it's kind of kind of bad. Okay, you'll do turn. Another stone forge. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Pay two to activate the stone forge. We're gonna throw a cauldron down. Um, we're going to go to combat, then we'll play the scrub at the end. What would be sick here is if we can just nut draw a, um, another land would be pretty great. If Stoneforge stays alive this turn, I don't know. Um, uh, cause then we can possibly equip Sophie to the Stoneforge. Should be great. Okay, and I don't think we have any action this turn, so I'm just going to yield through this turn. Uh, perfect. Sigh. Land. Now I need land. That is not a land. That will slow them down, though. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just go to combat now. It's hard because I don't know if I want to slow them down with the Archon. I think that's the right play though. Because I think their goal is just to crank out artifacts. Because they'll just be creating a bunch of 1 1s, which we don't want to deal with. Um, and then we'll just pass it over to our opponent. So we'll see what they do. And guys, I appreciate you guys for joining me um, on stream. Okay, they play that Tap Dears of Saga. The nice part is they don't have mana for... Um, oh, there's Sword of the Meek. Shit. We want to draw a land here. They don't have Urza, Urza mana. It's pretty sick, at least. They can only do one thing a turn. We'll land here. There we go. That's a land. Okay. This is where we get to maybe win. We're going to go ahead and activate the forge. <clears throat> Put the sword down. We're going to equip the sword. To the germ, because that's important. Let's think. We are one damage away from lethal. Okay, we got nine. I think we swing with everything here. I mean, I think that's the play we got to make here. Okay, we got it. Sweet, we might be able to pull this one out. They do get to be on the play next time, but uh, let's see what happens. Oh, God. I had no... Um, what's it called there? <laughs> no hate. <laughs> okay, wait. Permanent cards and graveyards can't enter the battlefield. I just realized Solus Jailer is the best thing since sliced bread. We're going to make some more cuts then. Let's cut another Skrelv. And a Vile for the Jailer maybe? Ah, Vile will propel us here. Um, uh, don't want to cut another Thalia. Let me think. Sword of the Meek costs one more. 
Archon slows him down. Let's cut another wisp because we're heavy on three drops here. <coughs> Man, I just realized what a great hate piece. Sweet. So they're going to get to go first. Hopefully we just have a great hand. Um, this seems pretty sweet. We're going to keep it. I don't see a reason why this would be a bad hand. Um, I mean, ultimately we're going to... Oh, shit. Hold up. Let me just minimize this. And go back into this. Okay, I like our hand here. I like the hand. Okay, we got a great land. I mean, they got a Springleaf Drum, which sucks nuts. But our Giver Stoneforge plan might pay off. I'm just going to yield through the turn. They got nothing. It is a pain going second, though. I will say that. Maybe we'll not draw a Lauren. Um, but they might just waste their turn... Try, oh, Memnite, sure. They might waste their turn trying to pending the giver. Thought cast, they're drawing two. Fine. Um, and is that a pending? Yeah, it's a pending. Okay, sweet. So they are tapped out as can be. Ah. Sorry, I don't want to concede the game. That was my mistake. I must did that. Sorry, my MTGO is a little laggy. And another Solitude, which is cool, I guess. Okay, we're just going to slam Stoneforge and have our fingers crossed that they don't have an answer for it because they are just, they don't seem to be doing a ton of stuff. Um, we're going to have Cauldra. Okay. So opponent's turn. Sign Master Thopterist. Sure. Is that the way they win? I think they win with um I'm just trying a bunch of land. Cheese and crackers. Okay, well let's get swinging in here. Get Cauldron down. That's that's what counts here. Okay, let's go to attackers swing. <clears throat> I mean, if they hold off for two more turns, if if they don't get anything good in two more turns, we actually can possibly take them down. Just having two solitudes is pretty pretty fantastic. Um. See what they do here. A nettle cyst. Ooh, no, that's not nice. So we get two creatures here? That's fine. That's fine. Cool. Oh, my computer's not plugged in. Oh, that is why. You're lagging. Okay, I'm sure. That resolves. This is where I really miss the, um, oh, it's a 5-5, five, five, that's it. I mean, that'll hold us off from killing them for a little bit, I guess. Let's see, did that charge my computer? Cool. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm cool with just swinging in with Galdra. It doesn't really bother me. Um, if we do draw another Stoneforge, um, Let's think of another ability. The draw card? Okay, fine. <clears throat> if we draw another Stone Forge, it'd be sick. Giver's cool, I guess. Okay. Here's the plan. I think we go to combat here with our germ. Make our opponent super sick. Uh.
I do want to play Thalia here as well. I think she might slow them down if their plan is sort of the meek. I mean, big nettle cyst is a plan. Is it a good plan? Maybe, maybe not. But we're just one turn away from Solitude coming down, so I'm not necessarily concerned. I mean, I'll chump it. It's whatever. Let's see what our opponent does. Okay, they play that tapped Razor Tide Bridge. Probably feels pretty bad. Um, and let's see what they're doing here. Thought Monitor? Sure. That sucks. A lot. Um... Yep, they're drawn too. <coughs> Shadow Spear. Just casting it is fine. Oh man, our opponent's gonna gain so much life from that freaking germ. We're probably gonna have to, or from the Nettle Sis, we're gonna have to play defense big time here. Um, it did cost them a lot of mana to do that. And they're just swinging in with Jeremy. Whoops. Cancel. I meant to block. Okay. Let's see. We're just going to block that. Okay, sorry. Okay. Um, we're in a weird position. We have an Iganjo. I don't want to Iganjo this thing. Um, we just have a solid clock. The longer we wait, the more difficult this matchup gets because they just flood the board with big things. Um, maybe there's merit to swinging with Thalia here, make them double or triple block. Um, they lose an artifact. Let's do that. Let's do that. Swing with Thalia, kind of put them in a stalemate because. Cauldra will just block the Nettle Cyst. They might Shadow Spear with it, but ultimately whatever gets equipped with it. Yeah, cool. Two, sure. Three, sure. Um, I'm actually going to shoot one of those things to save her because she seems to be slowing them down a little bit. Thanks, Chris. Glad you're here. <laughs> ah, there goes the power cable. Okay. We should be good, though. Yep. Just damaging the uh, Thopter tokens. Gosh. Now that makes playing Solitude this turn chonky, so we are not going to uh, evoke. If they slam down... Whatever that thing's name is, we'll deal with it. Urza. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, here's Urza, our best pal. Um, we are going to exile, give her from our hand. <clears throat> Appreciate it. <laughs> that fabulous so. Okay, what do they have here? They just
Are they activating his ability? Okay. Yeah, they create a 7-7. Seven, 8-8. Seven, eight, eight, because it counts itself. I'm guessing here they're paying to equip Shadow Spear um, to the germ swing at our face with the 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, I want to spend as little time... Oh, okay. It's a thought monitor. I want to spend as little time dealing with the germ as possible. And I really, really miss... Um, <clears throat> that card I miss Kataki I should be playing it I know there are a lot of affinity de affinity decks right now I dealt with three or four at um, prodigy in the last two weeks played against two affinity decks in one night it sucks See what we can do here. Archon's cool. Doesn't quite do what we want it to though. I'm gonna go to combat with the germ. <laughs> Why not? I mean, in reality, they're just going to gain a shit ton of life here. <coughs> but we're pretty close to lethal until we give them 12 life. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Let's do, let's, I think I'm panicking now. Let's see. Before we do something stupid like what I just did, 12, 12, we got to block two things and we'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Because my thing is like, we'll hit the Shadow Spear. Um, we'll hit the Germ. Or whatever has the Shadow Spear on it. We'll use this Saga. They will gain 25 life, 26 life, but that is okay. Unless they just are holding up Counterspell, in which I'd be amazed. Man, look at these painful Horizon Canopies. And our laggy MTGO. So good. Okay. I think we want the Solitude on the board. It's pretty sweet. What would be really great is if we can equip the Germ back and forth from like Thalia to Solitude. That'd be great. Okay, they're at 32 now. We might not win. But let's just play it out. I only have six minutes left. Ronnie, you'll do the turn. There's nothing we can do here. Oh, it's my turn. Cool. I draw Horizon Canopy. Okay, let's pay one. Sack this to draw. I mean, we haven't seen Lauren. This is another reason why the green white list is pretty good. Um, it really does help our. And this is another Thalia. Yeah, that's pretty shitty. Um, Lauren doesn't. Always cut it on her own. Okay. Um. 
I mean, my thought here would be they're just going to equip a Thopter. They really have 25? Oh, no. They have, like, 10 things. Um, they just got a lot of flyers that we're going to have to deal with, unfortunately. Um, I think i got to swing with these two things. Because, let's see, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're blocking. A little bit of life is all that matters here. <clears throat> that three life we just gained just might have helped us out. Okay. My thing is spazzing out so hard. Um, yep. Obviously, it's the only way we can deal damage. Both the same card. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, it's their turn. I'm going to choose to yield through the turn. Yield through the turn. And then I'm going to go to the bathroom. And we'll see what happens when we get back. Gotta declare the blockers. We're gonna say okay. Um, it's a flyer. We're just gonna literally. Oh wait, did I just misclick? Oh shit. I mean, I we're taking four. Okay, another solitude. What the fuck? Okay, so we're gonna go to combat with the germ. Now they've sorted the meek down. It's half of their combo. We're at four minutes. Should I scoop? Probably. I'm going to swing to try and just kill some of these tokens. Because they're annoying. They probably don't even care about their life total, which is the hilariousness of it all. We can stay alive a little bit longer. I mean, at this point, they should just gung-ho swing all in. I mean, we haven't drawn Path to Exile. We haven't drawn anything decent. We haven't drawn Lauren. So even Kotaki, I mean, at that point, we'd mull down. Um, I guess it might be time to bring Kotaki back. I kind of pulled it out because I was like, it's slow against Hammer. And in this list, I'm not playing... Blast Zone to deal with it, which Blast Zone's kind of the way to go. They're going to make a crap ton of Thopters. You know, I'm, I don't want to make you guys sit through this. We're going to concede this one. I don't think there's any way we get out of it, even with the top deck Lauren. Um, we're going to concede and go on to the next one. So, rough way to uh, start out the league. Did it not just register? Okay, cool. Rough way to start out the league. Anyways, that was a whole 40 minutes of nothingness. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Tastes terrible. Okie dokie. This is a hand that I'm happy to keep. Um, ton, 10 bucks our opponents on Loris. No, I'm kidding. Um, 10 bucks our opponents playing some value hungry deck. 
team. Yeah, our opponent's definitely on some value hungry deck. They're definitely playing. Um, they're playing something dumb. My guess is Merktide or Through the Breach. Or maybe another affinity deck. Is this a spell pierce right now? <clears throat> Leon and Arbor feels pretty good. Um, Cause just why not? Okay, we're just gonna yield through the turn. They're gonna spell pierce us. <clears throat> Oh my god. <laughs> I should have known better. I should have known better for crying out loud. <clears throat> Whatever. My mistake, everybody. My mistake. I literally called it. LOL. That sucks. Okay. Our opponent's playing Urza Saga. Why wouldn't they be... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, this is hammer time. And there's a giver. So actually, quite frankly, this matchup, Leon and Arbiter is one of our better uh, tools to kind of take down our opponent. So I'm thrilled. I mean, my guess is next turn they're jamming down. Okay, let's throw Arbiter down. Yeah, right. Hammer time, the best deck there is. Okay. I mean, compared to our deck, it's pretty good. The cool thing here is... Um, we can deal with... Cauldra, if I can deal with this... Uh, giver in any way, shape, or form. <coughs> they are going to have... Okay, this may or may not be hammer time. This might just be affinity again. Um, Hallowed Fountain, Shocked, Tapped. Okay. I mean, what would be gas here is just a nice top deck uh, Ghost Quarter. Planes is cool. Okay, here... We jam out Archon. And we're not going to combat. So mana efficient our deck. Look at us go. I need to get Giver down. definitely hammer time okay so urza saga chapter three hopefully they either make a construct or let it pop and cry as they don't get to search i find that arbiter's pretty awesome against this deck <clears throat> but if they have um If they have pure steel, that would it'll suck. Okay, they're making a dude. That means they're not searching. <laughs> um, they're probably just going the uh, the big boy plan of smash my face with the four four. I'd be scared that I double blocked the 4 4. But I ain't going. I mean, the, just the nut top deck now would be a classy um, solitude. Ghost Quarter's sick. <clears throat> Player Ghost Quarter, we 
knock them off Ink Moth. Just cool. Maybe there is merit to me knocking them off color. Sure. Oh, they're going to protect it with Giver. Ah, that's kind of great, actually. Um, because we do kill one of the constructs. So, three. Flicker Wisp hit the construct. And then I'm going to swing in with uh, my Arbiter here. It's pretty potent. The nice thing is they can't pure steal. we got to get in for the damage. <coughs> Granted, I have no way to protect my, um, my Archon, so that might be a problem. But our taxes are working. They're tapping out. Okay, they're casting another Ornithopter, making... Oh, that's literally all they can do. They can miss for five here. Um... Oh. Well, I don't want to block and just lose an Archon, because that would just be pretty sad. Yep. Shocker. It's a 5-5 five, five now. We get hit for more. Cool. Okay. I think Solitude here is still probably one of our better draws. Um, another Arbiter. Oh, cancel. I did not mean to do that. We're going to play our Horizon Canopy. Man, that Spell Pierce actually kind of hurt. It's really slowing our deck down. Um, maybe I just take a turn off here and drop Giver out. I don't know. I'm a little bit more comfortable... Um, Having the horizon can be to, to crack. I am going to swing with the Arbiter and the Archon. Because they cannot die. I mean, Ink Moth me all you want. I guess they could double block the Giver. Sure. I mean, they're going to give it protection, right? Oh, that's all they're doing. I'm cool with that, actually. We're chipping in, and that's what matters at this point. <clears throat> so... Now we see if we can survive this turn. Flooded Shran entering tapped, just the way it was intended, as Richard Garfield has decreed. Ephemerate would also be pretty gas. Colossus Hammer? What? Okay, I'm guessing they're just bulking up their construct to give it a faster clock. We block. And we yield through the turn. Buy yourself some time. 
Oh, and I missed my uh, cheese and crackers. Okay. Let's play this. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, one card in hand. Um, let's see if we can do it this first before we pop stuff out. I definitely need Giver. Um, Stoneforge. Save. Oh, gosh. I want to save her for next turn so badly. Okay, well... Now this is making me want to drop Thalia out to slow them down just enough. I mean, I don't know what they have. I mean, we definitely need the giver. And this is why people used to hate playing Arbiter and Giver in the same deck. Um, let's go ahead and go to combat. Let's attack with our amazing Flicker Wisp. It was worth it. It was worth it. They get their land, which is fine. But we took them off. Now here. This is where Depending on what they play, they might just have a land in hand. But depending on what they play, we literally just casually block with Arbiter. Um, if that means getting down a Cauldre Complete. Okay. Flooded Strand. Sure. They pay two to search. Okay, they have a Colossus Hammer that they're casting, which is their only spell this turn, which is fine. Um, it costs them two mana to do that. Sorry, my wife texted me. Not sure. Um, protection from colorless, that is horrible. I mean, that leads us open to a pretty solid crack. That is a two-turn clock they have on us, which does suck nuts. But maybe if we draw... I can't block it. I'm trying to think. What can we do here? Now we just want to draw Solitude. Ask and ye shall receive... They have one card in hand. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go to combat first. Let's see what happens here. Uh, I think the construct is more difficult than our... Um, we got five life left. Let's keep... Archon back. Let's swing. <laughs> I mean, maybe I can just nut this one out. Okay, so they are blocking with an Ornithopter. Um, and do I just kill their... Oh, that's first strike. Okay. Do I kill the Construct here? 
but I killed a giver. Giver's gonna be more problems for me down the road because I can just chump the construct. So here, let's go as shitty as this feels. We're gonna evoke solitude and hit the giver. Okay, they're gaining life on that. Um, I do block with Archon, so they do have the opportunity to double spell here. Um, I think I played that wrong. I should have probably swung with Archon instead of Arbiter. Because now they do have the opportunity to double spell, which could break my back. Um, so that was my goof there. My bad. Um, double spell is pretty important in this matchup, I guess. And there's an aid. Yep, so. Hammer? I don't know, they just play two minute cigar to aid. Okay. Land. It does not hear me. Um, gosh. Okay. Here we swing with Wisp and Thalia. I mean, we can really turn the tides here if we play this right. So we're going to lead Stoneforge. We're not going to search. We just want her on the battlefield. Um, next turn, if we nut the land, which hopefully we will, um, we have shit ton of them in the deck. If we nut the land, we can both cast Stoneforge, block. So we're, we're in a good spot. Just got to hope our opponent doesn't draw something decent here. They have two cards in hand. Um, one was an Urza Saga. <laughs> so they're definitely getting a hammer out. I mean, here we just block with the Arbiter. There's no questions about it. Um, and hope they don't have a Stoneforge. I mean, we might just win here. Okay, Lion Sash is pretty nuts. So I say we swing. I mean, we can't win here, but let's swing Flicker Wisp. Make them chump with the Thopter. Yep. And then, I mean, they're they're playing major defense. They can create a second construct, which does suck. Um, and they can double spell, which sucks even more. Okay, one of those draws was a Nurse's Saga. That is pretty fantastic. I do miss it coming in tapped, but at least they're not drawing cards with the pure steel. Okay, they're creating construct. That's fine. And what else are they doing? Hopefully nothing amazing. I mean, I'm surprised we pulled this one out. So end step, here we go. Nut draw of the Lion Sass just won us the game. Literally just won us the game. Because um, here we are going to put our Lion Sash down. And hopefully our opponent scoops. Oh, they didn't scoop. Okay. We're going to activate our Lion Sash. And we are going to hit a Urza Saga out of the bin. My opponent's Urza Saga, of course. It gets a 1-1. Now we're going to go to our turn. And if we just draw Cauldra, 
that's pretty great too. But um, Archon, backup Archon. So here's the plan stands. We are going to reconfigure to the Wisp. It's now 4-4 four, four, and we swing in for the kill. And we got it. Okay. Sideboarding. We don't have much time on this one. We have... Uh, that one was a long one. Okay. Okay. Here we bring in Lauren for sure. And Burnt and Forged Shender. Nope. Not Burnt and Forged Shender. Path to Exile. My bad. Um, one, two... Three. I feel like this is a pretty even trade for um, Flicker Wisps and the um, Lorens are pretty interchangeable in my opinion. So I'm going to cut two Wisps and a... Let's cut an Archon. And then for my Path to Exiles, I'm going to cut an Ephemerate. We're on the draw. Um, an Aether Vial. I think a Skrelv here. Because <clears throat> I do like the <coughs> Ephemerates and Solitudes and the Flicker Wisps, which I cut some of them out, but Flickering Lauren's pretty gas as well. Guys, I'm bad at sideboarding. Tell me how bad I'm doing. Oh, and there's a Lauren. A Ephemerate. Oh, that's like all our sideboard cards. We're going to keep this. <laughs> We're on the draw. The only shitty part is we have Cauldron in hand. Which is a card. So we're just going to yield through this turn. They lead giver. Oh, spring lift drum. Okay. That's an okay start. Uh, that's pretty fantastic. We're just going to lead plane. Or a ganjo and yield through. I don't think there's anything here our opponent plays that we really want to path aside from Giver. Hushbringer. I am so okay with that. I'm so glad I'm finally playing. Oh, Sigarda's A. That is disgusting. Jeez. Okay, so we don't care so much about Hushbringer right now. Um, we don't have anything. Actually, do we care? I don't want to give them an extra land. They have three cards in hand. It looks like they mold pretty aggressively. Let's see. Turn four is really when we want to pop off. Eight is a pain in my ass. Okay. Undo. Just hold it up. Another planes. All the land in the world. Our end step, I think, is where we path this Hushbringer. Um, as it does enable a lot of juicy stuff. So they get another planes, which really sucks. Um, they can aid and just freaking wreck our day. Thank God Lauren is in our deck. Can we draw one? Stoneforge. Okay, that's a card. Choosing. Colossus Hammer. Makes sense. Another Stone Forge. Grabbing. So, right now, Sigarda's Aid's our biggest problem. I don't want to pitch. Lauren. Shadow Spear. Damn. Okay. They don't seem to have Cauldron in hand. If I can just play the Lauren and she resolves and hit the aid, I might be pretty good here. Let's do this. Let's try it. Now, 
The one thing I will say about our opponent's deck is that it is extremely resilient. If they do have Cauldra, that would really suck. Um, or if they have just another Cigar Zade, that would also be terrible. Which looks like is coming down. Yeah, fuck. Okay, another Cigar Zade. So they can just hammer, hammer, um, or hammer, hammer Shadow Spear. Okay. We are not going to block. Oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, they're only swinging with one thing. My plan is to uh, wait for the cigar to trigger to go on the stack for the equip. Yeah, I probably should have done that. That was a big boo-boo on my part. Um, yeah, you're right. Hey, Catmix, what's up? Glad to have you here. That was definitely a mistake I just made, but luckily, if Lauren can stick around, we can ephemerate. Um, just kind of expecting the... Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. That's pretty good, too. funny we have a lot of tools to deal with the stoneforge part of me wants to swing in with his lauren but i just think i need her up for blocks let me think if lauren will stick around okay i don't want to risk lauren dying no i definitely want to hit the i think i want to path this stoneforge here Ah, uh, no. Let's, I mean, because then they would have to rush out a creature to be able to actually aid on something. Um, yeah, so let's just path her, the Stoneforge here. I think that's the play. Okay. Stoneforge dies. Um, we're going to go to combat. I just don't want any surprises here. Oh, they're out of basics? <laughs> Sweet. Ah, okay. The nice thing is once Colossus... Okay, Ornithopter. They do have a Shadow Spear available. Yeah. I really think I'm. I think I do want to ephemerate the Lauren now to kill the aid, force it out. It'll rebound. Uh, let's try it. They could have spell pierce, which would really suck. But I do have two mana up for it, which is fine. And I do get a draw off Lauren no matter what they do. Okay, so she lands. And I forgot to... Uh... Yeah. Okay, we're going to hit the aid. <clears throat> they flash and hammer. Which clips the ornithopter.
pathing my Lauren. What? Okay, that was a punt on my end. We'll take the land, though. <coughs> yeah, we're going to grab a land. Got basics to spare. Yeah, right? Draw the gas and do the goof on that one right there because now they can equip Shadow Spear. They are empty handed and I can just chump with stuff if I can draw it. But we'll see what happens. Okay, aid dies at least. I do have Shadow Spear, which is I think the biggest problem. Yeah, rebound. Feel sad. Stoneforge is cool. Okay. Nope. Nope. Hold up. I want to keep the ghost quarter up for now. Okay, let me think here. Right now I'm kind of wishing I kept Lion Session because I don't want to take another hit from a Thopter. Oh, I did keep Lion Sash in. But it has Trample anyways. I'm going to take the damage. Uh, okay. I've got Solitude in the yard, and I've got five lands. I think sort of Light and Shadow is the way to go, because then I kind of start looping. Do they have Artifact Removal? I mean, the nice thing here, the nice play is I can slam down the sword. Cauldra complete, equip sword, start swinging. They're going to gain life, but I can grab solitude. They're going to gain even more life, which I can deal with. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, that felt bad. I mean... Okay. Their one card was Urza Saga. The nice thing is, uh, Cat Mix, we did win ga game one, so we're kind of we're up here, and they don't even swing. Um, sweet. Give her. I will not complain. I'm going to keep the Ghost Quarter up. So you said just tapping down all my... Um, Permanents, because I do want to ghost quarter the saga, because it's a pain, and I think they're out of basics. Okay, and I just realized I can. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Okay, equipping the germ, And I just kind of realized that the Solitude goes to hand, and if I keep Giver in hand, I can actually exile the Ornithopter if it really comes down to that. Um, so let's swing with our Germ. I guess they block here. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Now that they're empty-handed, I think it makes it a lot easier because we can... Like I said, just loop the solitude, and it's even better if we're um, evoking it. You would? Okay. Yeah, just so it doesn't get big. Okay. Let's go solitude to hand. Yeah, for sure. For sure, that would be absolutely game-ending. Okay, so let's pop the saga. Because there's nothing that they have that will have haste, especially just coming down. Um, and then... Yeah, because we did... Last game, it was like an absolute uphill battle against the Giver of Runes until I finally topped deck Solitude. Sometimes it is uh, <laughs> better to be lucky than good, as uh, Pleasant Kenobi would say. And they're going to gain... I just realized they're also going to gain that 11 life either way.
Yeah, I think the the sort of light and shadow loop is just disgusting. Yeah, they'll probably draw land and scoop here. I think their only top deck that would be good would be uh, Pure Steel Paladin. But then they're not scooping, which is fine. Um, again, it just comes back, and there's a Solitude right there, so it comes back to the Solitude loop, uh, loop like I said. <laughs> okay, so now we have Double Solitude, which is just disgusting. I mean, they got one card in hand, and I don't even know what it could possibly be. They've got... I mean, they're out of basics, which is nice, too. They're playing... They play March of Otherworldly Light, but they would have hit the germ. Oh, oh, wait. They can't hit the germ. The sword. They did have a path, which, again, sword stops. Yeah, I... Just stripping people out of basics is definitely, or where they only have basics left is one of my favorite things to do. That's why I'm playing the Arbiter build. Um, just sucks when you play up against Affinity and they have all those indestructible lands. Which sucks. Okay. Yeah, that was a long wait. Really? I'll have to check it out. Okay. I'm like... So, Kamix, how do you feel about the... Like, where Taxes is positioned? Maybe it's just because I am always playing against the same people at my, my locals, but I just feel like it's so easy for us to get blown out by, by creativity right now. That's why I, I put Paths in. Um just to deal with dumb stuff and there's Lavinia sure okay now we want to draw that land It's not a land. Yeah, which it is. Let me not do that yet. But it is an absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> I mean, I've got two people at locals who play creativity. And then it just. I felt like the green splash was a little rough. As it really did mess up our mana base to where. It ended up being a little clunky. Really? Man. Definitely send it over to me. Because it just feels terrible to play against it. I'm going to play Giver here just to be a blocker. It's been, I'm trying to think, what else, I think that's really the only other matchup, that's the only matchup that I just dread playing against, even, I mean, we have so much hate for um, Cascade. What the heck? Should I even block this? I feel like I should. I feel like I'm messing up if I don't. Yeah, that, that's the one. And sometimes Zoo feels a little funky. But that one I can live with. <laughs> oh my god, we have four minutes left on our clock. There's the land. Beautiful. Okay. Go to combat. Let's swing. 
It always does. Is there merit to... Part of me just wants to do this. Maybe this is the wrong play. Gain them three life. I mean, I'm surprised they're still fighting through this. The hard cast solitude feels good. Again, with no creatures, they can't do anything. And if they, like, spell pierce it, or... I guess they wouldn't have a counter for it, but... We can at least block quite well and they don't have a, an attacker. Yeah, there's blacksmith skill, which is fine. It's one less card they have. I'm honestly... I mean, I only play this deck pretty much, but I'm honestly surprised that they haven't banned creativity or thought of banning creativity or just some piece to it because just the value engine is so ridiculously strong to where we have no chance. Yes. And now this is good too because um, even if they hold Lavinia up to block or they nut top deck something, we can um, cast our Stoneforge again. Let's see. What is this counter? <coughs> no mana was cast. <laughs> we are? Okay, and finally our opponent scoop. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Thank God. I, I'm going to definitely be running your list. How does do... So with your new, your new take... How are we doing with everything else? Is it still a pretty level playing field, or you've only tested against the uh, the creativity matchup? I've also been um, I'm trying to think. What else? I really think that's the only thing we struggle against. Of course, anything that's like funky and off meta, um, where they're doing unexpected stuff that we can't really play around. And Fury doesn't even feel bad anymore. It used to feel terrible. And luckily, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to think. Really? Okay, I'll check it out. Did you send it to me on Twitter? Let me see. Oh, you did? Okay, let's see. In this chat. Okay, we won the die roll. We are going first. It might be delayed here. Let me see. Yeah, I didn't get it here. Okay, I'll check it out on Twitter. Okay, let's see. Can we keep this hand going first? One, two, three. Yeah, we'll keep it. Not as much interaction as I like, but with the um, Mercurial Spell Dancer as their cover photo, I can only imagine we are playing some type of Merc Tide deck. I like to try and guess. Yep, <laughs> called it. Oh, monkey. Damn. And there's a uh, line sash. Pretty sweet. Or a uh, solitude. Reading's hard. Okay. Thalia down. Let's see. Thank you. Let's see here. Surprisingly, I played against a Blue Moon matchup at Locals on Monday. And the fact that they play three Jace mainboard really sucks. And this is just, this couldn't get any better. Paying one for Bobble <laughs> feels so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, they put a land in the bin. That is a perfect lunch for our Alliance Ash. 
and they're checking out our cop top card. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely really fun. Um, it just, surprisingly enough, I still feel like it can go back and forth as much as I, I hate it. Another Solitude is always welcome. Oh, man, I'm going to take damage here. Yeah, right? No, I don't, I don't really think it's rude. I think it's a... A huge benefit and just the fact that we have the protection with the Thalia for now let's see I'm gonna hit the bobble out of the yard and I'm just gonna hold tight for now because I don't want to get swing with Thalia and get us in a position where we're crying because I do really want to protect both these pieces as long as we can um yeah i've i've actually toyed around with running um two lion sash main board it is really freaking good it really does break our opponent's back three minute espresso federation fine by me um i find when even matchups where i'm like i don't really need it it just it's good when i board it out i wish i had it in um Stuff gets in the graveyard through playing. It just makes life a whole lot easier. So I exile the land. I think the only thing that would hurt us here is a Fury. What would be a great top deck too would be because they got two card types in yard. Um... Sword of Light and Shadow. Okay. Yep, the Atraxa deck is getting super popular. I'm noticing that one of the best ways to end up handling it is um, Solus Jailer. And I think just a good hand to keep is um, if you can mulligan into it is the Stoneforge. I find it to be pretty, pretty back breaking. Okay. Definitely want to hit both the Tarns. Merc Tide costs seven. I want to get aggressive if I can. What might be fun here is swing with Lion Sash. Okay, they blocked. Okay, we killed a Ragman, which is sick. I was going to say, swing with Lion Sash, equip to Thalia, as then that's only one thing we have to protect. Dragon's Rage Chandler might come online. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, the Gorgo's Vengeance deck, I, I was able to blow it out a few times. Lion Sash did really good. It definitely does need more brewing. It has a lot of potential. I think, obviously, the Pitch Elementals um, are super powerful. Oh. Bolting. And we're going to protect here. Give it pro red just in case. I mean, now I think we stand a pretty good chance. They're just trying to get Delirium online. I think the deck, their deck is harmed. By the fact that they do have to 
attack with the channeler. Now here I think we've got a couple different lines. Aether Vial is not one of them. They got all four card types. And the last thing we also want is a Chonky Murktide. Yeah, creativity used to be absolute dog shit. <laughs> Pardon my French, but it was really bad. And the card was like a couple cents at one point. As unbeneficial. I mean, they can always. Okay, now here. We want to get them off card types. We're going to hit the Spire Bluff. And I think I gotta hit the lightning bolt so I don't take a ton of damage, but we do want to get Thalia out of unholy heat range. Hmm. Let's go to combat. <laughs> You're good. See you shortly, Cat Mix. Okay. Man, I think they're just trying to get a Merc Tide out at this point. Um. So we want the channeler to attack here. We want to hit out a card type. They're dashing a monkey. I think this is a hit we take actually. This might be a trap, but probably should have done this a little second ago, just in case they try and heat me. Let's hit the channeler out. What do they exile? Ephemerate. Disgusting. Okay, that's actually fine. Two mana ephemerate doesn't seem so bad. <coughs> Monkey back to hand. Which is fine. My guess is they're holding up just counter spells. And another horizon land. This feels so painful. This kind of feels bad. Let's see. You have five cards in the yard. Okay, what do we do here? Here we definitely hit the card types out of the yard. Oh, but we're gonna get hit by Monkey. Forgot about him. I think we keep them off Mark Tide here. This 
This might be bad playing. <coughs> I'm fully expecting a Merc Tide here. Or Dash Ragman's fine as well. I think we just say okay here. What could they get from our deck? So we don't want them getting a Solitude, so let's go ahead and pay one. Sack this to draw. Planes. Not what I was wanting. Can we afford... I think we can afford to hit them. Or for them to. Let me think. Seven damage. Okay, we can afford to take the hit here. We're holding 10 damage up right now. Oh, they got a Thalia. Okay, cool. Yeah, if they want to cast a Thalia, that's fine. They had, did hit one of our solitudes off. Kind of cleared up our draws a little bit. We think we're at 10 damage. Okay, let's see. I can flicker wisp. Targeting Thalia. lands all they have left so if Thali's going to enter back on our board and she going to die they kind of locked themselves out there That was a punt because I could have. There's no way they have a counter spell for Solitude. And now they do. I should have done it in response. Hit the channeler. I mean, they haven't countered anything so far. I think we exile channeler here. Yeah, they're countering. Sure. Okay, here I think we are going to... Man. Lion's Hash is just hu hu making Thalia huge. They're just spending more resources. I don't want to attack and get hit by Ragavan again in case they have a bolt. Maybe that's greedy of me. Oh, let's actually undo that. We're going to hold off a turn here. And I'm like running my clock dry because I'm talking. I'm going to yield through this turn. <clears throat> oh god, I hope I don't lose this. Okay, Thalia's coming back. Choose a Thalia to keep. We keep this Thalia. Thalia Prime. I mean, now their chant, their thing they can do is Merc Tide. Okay, they're sacking Fiery Islet to draw. They're holding a monkey. Oh wait, we exiled Ragavan. What am I doing? I should have swung in there. Okay. That is the best draw possible. Okay. 
here's what we're going to do. Pay two. Ephemerate targeting Wisp. Did they just? Do they have one mana available? They just lost. Hey, Spencer, what's up? Glad to have you here. And we just won this match against Mark Tide. Um, sweet, they scooped it up. We got 13 minutes on clock. We got to play fast. Hopefully, we can win this next one. Okay. That was a pretty sick. Oh crap, man, my program's spazzing out on me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Begin sideboarding. Okay. Will you work? Okay, we're working. Oh god, if we don't get the sideboard, it's going to be rough. Okay, we're good. Forge tenders coming in. Sanctifiers coming in. Here our Arbiter plan is pretty trash. So we cut those. I'm going to cut a couple of vials, two to be exact, cut a Skrelv, I will cut both Skrelvs, Forge Tender is better, and let's bring in another path, oh man, I'm going to cut Sword of Light and Shadow here, actually no, that lets us grind them out, um, hmm, one more cut, we'll cut an Ephemerate. Path is just better, and I don't want to have a mass of um, non-creature spells with Thalia on board. Okay. Here we go. What can we do? This would be an amazing hand if I had one more land. Okay, we're going to mulligan. We all know that the... Oh, this is cool, too. We're going to keep this. Okay. Put one thing back. We're going to put our Flicker Wisp back. Um, the nice part with this hand is we do have the freedom to I mean they're gonna yeah bubble is disgusting they're fetching away because they don't like what they have shocking the vents in and I'm guessing they're just prepared to uh, counter what I got and that's pretty sick forge tender it's good it lands. And Flood of Sure. Once we get Sanctifier down, it feels pretty good. And my guess is they're holding up some type of counter spell here. Um, that's where Aether Vile is our best bet against this deck. Thalia is fantastic. We're going to play that. And pray to God it doesn't get countered. <coughs> Bless me, sorry. Ah, they're going to counter it. Which is what we want. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Perfect. Sanctifier is pretty much king in this matchup, and the fact that they're just wasting their mana. Um, unfortunately, they could just nut a Merc Tide here, which does suck. Let's see what they do. They have four cards in yard. If they do nut a Merc Tide, we'll have very little backup to that, or just way to handle that. 
We're going to yield. Oh. Explosives on one. They just popped EE. -E. Man, part of me really wants to play the Field of Ruin and hit their steam vents in the event that they might not have a basic mountain. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's go. Gotta go Sanctifier here. Hope they don't have subtlety. Man, a, another colorless land would be nice. Okay. Next turn, our uh, Sanctifier and Vec and our Lion Sash are going to eat out their yard. <laughs> oh my god, they're just loading EE. -E. They're spamming it. This is amazing. Okay, this makes our next play even better. Okay, we're gonna play Field of Ruin as our land. We're gonna say okay. We're gonna attack with our Sanctifier. Oh God, this is just beautiful. We're gonna Play Forge Tender. We're going to set a stop in their upkeep. And in their upkeep, we're going to hit the steam vents. The reason for that is I want them to have to spend their mana. On their turn. Case in point. I wanted to force them to spend mana on their turn. That's one less mana that they have available. <coughs> As opposed to letting them tap. See, look, now they only have islands. And they have a way to get around it, which is fine. Paying for it. Blood Moon? No! Great play. Great job, opponent. I, um, I mean, you can scroll up easier. Earlier in the chat, Death and Catmix and I were literally just talking about it. We love this matchup. It makes life, I mean, it's a, it's an easy matchup for us. They don't really have many answers to our deck. Like here, I'm just going to literally jam Lion Sash and eat all of their... Let's see, what do I eat? They got more... They got a bunch of artifacts in the... Uh, let's see. They just got a bunch of stuff here. <clears throat> now, they could have a braid... Um, but we have a way to protect our Lion Sash, and they only have one red mana. Yeah, I, I like the Merktide matchup. It's pretty good. Oh, man, I just hit the EE. -E. Oh, wait, two EEs -E and a Mishra's Bobble. Okay, we can take them off card types. <coughs> like, this hand was amazing. I don't know why they just played Blood Moon against me. Maybe to stop them from taking damage. So we're going to go to combat. If they have a Ragavan, which I doubt they do, they can run it out. Um, and now I'm not so sure I'm worried about Murktide because we can always eat our own graveyard. But yeah, ultimately we, we shouldn't be extremely concerned about Murktide. It's more grindy, as you can see, but we've got a pretty good chance when we're playing against it.
Yeah, main deck Forge Tender would help. Um, but it's just, it's only good in a deck with red, and I don't think we want to be playing things that are so situational. I've seen, I've actually seen people play main deck, um, <clears throat> what's it called? They're unholy heating this. Okay. I mean, this thing's literally just going to get so huge. I mean, they probably want us to do that. But yeah, it, it seems like it's a pretty decent matchup. Um, Murktad Regent? Sure. Five counters. I mean, we definitely won this matchup. No problemo. Just with Lion's Ash. Let's see. Let's go. I mean, they're tapped out here. We definitely want our Sash to be chunky. They got zero cards in hand, and this is where where, where we want our opponent. Um, yeah, that is completely true. Are you playing? Um, or no? Are you playing main board Archon of Emiria because that really slows them down. And I actually upped my count of, um, like, Giver of Runes with Skrelv. Man, I, I want to be out of, way out of Unholy Heat range. <clears throat> Let's grab Arthalia. Yeah, that, and that's what I'm playing today, is just three solid copies of literally do the trick um and then thalia if you can get her down and protect her it's pretty solid as well i'm surprised our opponent doesn't scoop here wow i just skipped oh my word holy crap that was absolute poo oh my gosh okay that that peeves me off Yes, we're going to use Stoneforge's ability. Um, I'm going to get Cauldra complete here. Because I want to force them to deal with the Stoneforge. And we're going to yield. Do turn. That hurts. I just misclicked so hard. Holy crap. Well, we're going to yield through their turn and hope they don't draw something ridiculous. I mean, they've got a four-turn clock on us. Okay, yep. Yeah. I just told them, whoops, lol. We're yielding through their turn. Um, the more they fuel the yard, the more they help us. Bobbling us. Yeah, and they bolt the Stone Fortress is fine. Um, if we draw another land, we just win here. I mean, we just win here in general, unless I... Oopsie, uh-oh. Scoop. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so let's go to combat. Okay, second main. We slam down our second stone forge. 
then counter if they have a counter spell, which is fine. I'm going to say okay. Yes. Um, also, Arno, what lists are you playing, if you don't mind me asking? Like, are you doing, like, a saga list? You playing, um, what's the card? Shoot, I can't even remember cards right now. But, yeah, are you playing Urza Saga? Are you doing the Ghost Quarter thing? Are you doing something kind of of what Cat Mix has been pioneering with the, uh, for Blast Zone, for Iganjo, or the Boseju. I'm just going to haphazardly hit all the stuff out of the yard. Because um, card types. We'll keep one standing. They can cast a 4-4 four, four, um, thing. Oh, i got to pull my stop off their upkeep. Okay, we got it. That is so awesome. Okay, so we've been doing pretty good after our first uh, battle. We're uh, double match with 2 and 0. Oh. So I'm pretty excited. We're doing good. My cat is chilling. She's cute. No scroll. Okay, extraction specialist is great. Um, I prefer her more in the sideboard. I know people do play her in main. Uh... I like her with our sideboard plan as we have for almost every deck that is a difficult matchup. We have those. Um, okay, sorry, I'm just gonna check. We're gonna keep this. Um, and we're gonna bottom a field of rune. Um, so, what I like about Extraction Specialist post board is we have the plan of. Okay, we have. Three of everything. We have a way to bring our threats back if it's grindy. It's great against scam. Um, but yeah, I, I, I prefer it in the sideboard against the grindy matchups. It's just kind of a bonus. I get my thing back and I can deal with you. But yeah, definitely a good card. Let me think. And I think against Murktide, it's just kind of a... Sometimes they have it. So we do lose matches against them that way. Like late game, like super late game, if they have a fistful of cards, it's brutal. If they get Jace down, it pretty much just stops us in our tracks. There's nothing we can do. Unless we remove it, it handles all of our threats. <coughs> oh man, I gotta pull this up, keep off. It stays, apparently. Oh, it's a scam. Oh, they're thought seizing me, yeah, sure. Take my Stoneforge. There's a Thoughtseize bug, I believe. Which will have us draw Stoneforge next turn. If it works correctly. Okay, took our Stoneforge, which is fine. Ooh, that's not a Stoneforge. So, play Ghost Quarter. They could be, um... What's that thing? Could be Shadow. Probably not. <coughs> also, just a pro tip to anyone who plays Death and Taxes. Um, Okay, I think we got to deal with this here. Can we take the hit? I don't want them getting the extra mana, but we don't have any other threats. Yeah, that is also true. Um, they do tend to snowball, which is unfortunate. We're going to let them have this. Hot field room, thank goodness. Um, yeah, no, definitely not. Oh, shoot. 
I just let that happen. Oh, okay. That's fine. But yeah, it is definitely a snowball-y deck. So I think this is Death Shadow. Okay. So we're not going to attack with Giver. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't worry about it. It's, yeah, it's snowball-y, unfortunately, but it is uh, definitely beatable. Ledger Shredder. Dragon Drage Channeler. They're tapping out here. Which, uh, doesn't seem right. Oof. Okay, we drew another white card. They've got three cards in hand. I'm going to crack this to draw. Stoneforge. Okay, glad we did that. Um, now we know what's happening next. So we're going to exile Thalia from our hand here. And now I'm not so concerned about counterspell, all that stuff. Yeah. And let's hit the uh, Ledger Shredder first. Let the Exile resolve. Pay one. Ephemerate Solitude. At this point, I think if our opponent has dashes Ragavan, we just take the hit. <laughs> I don't think there's a uh, reason to block it. It's just asking to get blown out. Okay. Express of iteration. Cool. Nice. See, I every single RCQ I've done has been really rough for me, unfortunately, um, where I haven't had much luck. I've been like one match or one win away from or from top eighting. But uh, we're not. We're just gonna let this fizzle. But yeah, I I really do wish I could uh, could do that. Congratulations, Rocky Road. Hopefully you uh, you had fun at least. I'm glad I'm glad you guys hopped on. A lot more than the last last stream I had like there's one other person on which is fine. Oh, pulled up. But um I'm glad that we've got I've got people joining it. It brings me joy as I, I enjoy to play and I enjoy uh people coming and watching. Let's see. Okay. I think here we uh Play second giver. The giver lock is pretty good. Oh, they're unholy heating our thing. Um, they can pretty much grab anything to kill the solitude here with the polluted delta. So I might as well protect from black. Maybe they have Fatal Push. I mean, it's a 50-50 shot. They got either Fatal Push or um, Bolt. They could fetch. It could be sad. I should yield to the turn. End step. They are cracking. They're tapping. Okay, so our plan paid off a little bit. So 
Expressive iteration. Everybody's favorite card. Banned in every format but modern where we get to deal with the shenanigans. And for a pretty land heavy deck, we are a uh, uh, Death Shadow. What did I say? Terminate. Killing our solitude. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Bloodstained Mire. Fetching. Shocking. Playing Shadow. Which is understandable. Um, here, Cauldron Complete is our way to go, unless we just <laughs> top deck a Solitude, in which case we just... Oh, Archon, cool. That's not cool. But it's cool. Okay. <coughs> so we play Stoneforge here. Say okay. I think this is where we really just want to protect the Stoneforge. Um, grab Cauldre Complete. The nice thing is we are running sort of Light and Shadow, so we do have the uh, ability to block a Death Shadow if we do draw another Stoneforge. How did this other Stoneforge get in the yard? I don't remember. Oh, they thought seized it. I'm impressed with us right now. We're fighting our way with two lands. They have to have double removal to kill the Stoneforge. We're going to take our, our Lick here. We just got to take it. Unfortunately, that is the way that it works. Because if they have a red removal spell, we cry. Underworld Breach feels terrible. So let's see what they got in the yard. So let's see if they can play Breach. So we want to protect Stoneforge now because they can... I think we want to protect her now with a red spell, from a red spell. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. <coughs> okay. Pro red. All their removal is red based. They had Drown in the Lock, so there was no protection there. No! Okay, that's fine. So the nice part is that was definitely their main goal, was to kill that. Yeah, there's no way around it. Because they had both... Oh, there's a giver. We're just so short on lands. We're losing bad this this race. We do get to yield through the turn now. I mean, this is turn seven, and we have not drawn another land, unfortunately. Okay, they're going to combat. We're going to block here. We've got a block here. Go to blocks. I feel like we're so well equipped to deal with this matchup. We're just not doing good. Second death shadow. Unless we top deck solitude here. There's nothing we can do. They just paid three mana. Is that for Gigantha? Okay, they got it. They got it. Um, go on the next one. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I 
Now I know. Okay. Players can't cast non creatures from graveyard or exile. <clears throat> so the removal is a good mix of black and red and blue. Sanctifiers are coming in. Arbiter is surprisingly very powerful in this matchup. Um, Path to Exile is pretty good. Three. <coughs> I mean, pretty much our whole sideboard it comes in. Flick Wisp is bad. Vile's bad. We're on the play, but Vile's bad against that. Let's do two Brenton Forge Tenders, two Solus Jailers. Um, I'm going to cut an Arbiter here. I'm going to cut an Ephemerate. Both of our Skrelves. And Lion Sash's Gas. I think this is how we play it. The 61st card. Stoneforge, if we have it in opening hand, it does just rip a card out of our, out of our library. Um, and it doesn't make that much of a difference. Oh, yeah, this is a keepable hand. Yeah, this is great. We're just going to keep it slow, but... Um, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Oh, fuck, I screwed up. Wow, we just lost that game because I messed up. That was a total misclick. Wow, that felt so bad. Oh my god. We could have turned to Sanctifier, turned to Stoneforge, played around everything. Fuck. Okay. Big oof. Big oopsie poopsie. Okay. Well, that just blows. There's no fucking way around that. I mean, the cool thing is... Yeah, there's no cool thing about that. That was just oopsie poopsie right there. Uh, do we Solus Jailer here? I think we Stoneforge... Guys... I feel so sick now. I feel so bummed out. Oh, that felt terrible. Spencer, you saw that. They just nuked our thing there. I don't think there's coming back from that. This deck has so much. Just ridiculous removal. Yeah, fuck. Okay, our opponent took our other stone forges, fine. <clears throat> so now we can get drowned in the locked, <coughs> which is cool. I'm guessing they fetch here, yeah. So our Arbiter can survive a turn. Maybe. Unholy Heat. 
add our arbiter. Gotta save it. Wow, this league could have been a 4-0. If I pull this out, I'm gonna congratulate myself, <laughs> literally. Um, there's the basic. Torok the Dread Cantor. Solus Jailer, please survive. Thank God. Okay. The only thing better than that would be, or than us being able to deal with this, would be um, the rebound, which will not do anything. Let's say okay. No. Not what I'm looking for. I hope they, oh, thank God they're retarded. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry, guys. Man, that peeves me so hard. I hope they try and cast that lightning bolt from exile. And they look like an idiot. Death shadow, sure. I'm not blocking. That is a sword. I can keep one creature on the battlefield for one more turn. Okay. They have one card in hand. They drew a land. Let's see. They can deal themselves a total of 6, giving us a total of 10 damage. We'll take it. They hit us down to four. They do have one card in hand. If we can draw a land, that's not a land. Okay. I think here we equip to Solus Jailer. They've got Drown in a Lock. Now we can't win because we don't have lands. Well, that felt really horrible. Um, I could have maybe won that one actually. <clears throat> that felt really bad. Let them swing and kill us. And we'll go for the 3 2, at least. Hey, at least.
Okay. HP, really nice. Yeah. It'd be like that when you misclick. That's the worst part about it. GG's. That that frustrates me to all all heck. Okay. We would have won that one there. <clears throat> if I had one more creature down. One more land down. We just like Yeah. Okay. We won the die roll. We're gonna play first. Now we'll keep the sand, it's cool. Double stone forge, and we get to lead on Arbiter. I'm cool with it. Uh, or stone forge, I mean, we get to lead on stone forge. Don't want to lead on Arbiter. Um, gosh, I appreciate the support. Also, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We've got nine people on chat. Last week we had, or two weeks ago we had two. I think one of them was me, but oh well. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and just play our planes. Yield. We've been pretty rough on time. And say go. Okay. We're going to yield through our opponent's turn. <laughs> turn one Thossies. Oh, Relic. Oh my gosh, what is this? Plains. Stone Forge is the way to go here. I don't know what this is. This could be John Spencer. This could be your deck here. We're about to play against. Oh man. Let's grab our uh, Cauldre Complete here. Let's force the play. <clears throat> if they thought sees me, I can stone forge. Field of ruin. Is this mill? Okay, they're pushing. They're pushing. That's a that's a good sign there. Sure. Or is this that Karn deck? I think this is the Karn deck. Um, <clears throat> I've got protection for uh, Stoneforge, and we're just kind of, as they kill our stuff, we're drawing cards here. But we definitely need the Sword of Light and Shadow. <coughs> okay. We're looking strong in our land game, too. Field of Ruin doesn't bother me. They can't hit our non-basics. But I think this is Swampy Karn, as I like to call it. Okay, they're drawing a card. Our graveyards are going bye-bye. Okay. Let's see what they got for us. Another Swamp. A fatal Push. Okay. This is why we save the Ephemerate. I mean, we literally just get all of our freaking, uh, all of our equipment. <laughs> okay, they're profane tutoring. Yep, this is, uh, Swampy Karn. Okay, hold up. So, profane tutor. It's got two ticks to it. So on our turn, rebound. Okay. I'm going to say no to it. No. We're going to get them good here. Okay. Let's go. One. Two. There's a couple options here. They've spent a lot of removal. So there could be merit to 
playing the Arbiter now. I feel like this, this deck we just have to out aggro it. So we're going to play our Arbiter. We don't care about searching at all. <coughs> and if they want to feel, feel to ruin me, that's fine. Now again, we do give them a chance to actually kind of deal with uh, Leon and Arbiter. They get a draw to deal with it. Um, okay, so they killed our Arbiter, which is fine. Now if we draw another land, we are in good shape here. Or if we just draw another Arbiter. Solitude is really good. Okay, let's go to combat. Let's attack. There's no reason why we wouldn't want to attack. We're going to play Skrelv. And we're going to jam out the Sword of Light and Shadow. Okay, Profane Tutor coming off Suspend. I'm guessing they're searching for Karn. Um, so this is, that's why I should have maybe waited a turn, thrown the sword down, maybe got a little greedy there. But it's what it is what it is. They don't have to reveal the card either. Man, them paying two would have been just delicious. Such a weird, weird thing to say. I'm sorry, guys. Ah, oh, okay. See what they're doing. Okay, so everything is swamp. One thing I did learn, oh, let's see what they're doing. Okay. Target sacrifices a creature if they can't lose life. Enchantment and Planeswalker, okay. Okie dokie. Here's what we do here. Our play is Equip Sword. Gosh. If you're not playing Sword of Light and Shadow on your taxes deck, I don't know what you're doing. You're doing it wrong. Because this is pretty good. So we're going to activate the Swords ability. We're going to grab our Leon and Arbiter. So okay, we're going to gain our 3 life. Yes, we're using the Swords ability. Crazy. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast the Arbiter. And then we'll say go. <coughs> They've got to deal with two creatures here. Okay. They're killing our Lunar Arbiter. My guess is they're going to invoke Despair again to kill the germ. Sure. 
If that's what they want to tap out to do, that's what they're going to tap out to do. Okay, sure. Now the thing is, is I feel like um, I feel like what's his name? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna equip the sort of light and shadow just in case they have a Karn. Um, we are presenting lethal. So we're pretty good. Okay, they have another swamp. Oh my gosh. They have drawn every invoke to spare that they have. What is this? What the heck? Okay, so there was merit for me maybe throwing two creatures down. They're just digging through their deck. This is just... Okay. Oh, shoot. Damn it. I did that again. Oopsie poopsie. Okay. Lion Sash. And we're going to equip our Sword of Light and Shadow here. We're almost there. <laughs> Come on. You're at three life opponent. Oh my god. Okay, we're just going to yield through the turn. They can pay their costs. Blow up my land. Whatever you want them to do. Oh my god. That was horrid. Okay. Now we need to land. Oh shit, they got Cabal Coffers. Karn. Cityscape Leveler. That's where they blow up lands when it enters. Can we win from here? Oh. The power stone just sucks nuts, honestly. What does this thing do? Can't be cast, spent to cast a non... Okay. Yep. There's a card I need. Whenever you cast a spell... Whenever you cast a spell and whenever it attacks. Okay. We got a stop set there? Okay. Okay, let's see what they're doing here. Eight mana. They're revealing another artifact. If it's just another city, city escape leveler, we kind of just lose here. Liquid metal coating. Okay. So they tap that. Wait, okay. What happens here?
You can respond to this, right? Okay, Profane Tutor. Relic. I might be able to scoot out of this one. Okay. <coughs> it's all I can do this turn, unfortunately. Okay, cool. That is cool. Man, this might be a close one. We gotta kill the Karn for sure. Karn is their big threat if they only have two cards in hand. If they just have something that kills Solitude. What the hell just happened? Oh my gosh, March of Wretched Rudeness. So mean. Okay. Let's look at this. Scott, okay. We're good, we good, we good for a turn. I mean, they want to Karn one of our lands. Okay. Okay, we're just going to cast our uh, Solitude here. I think the um, Cityscape Leveler is busted. We might not do too hot in this league. I do like. I would like to try this one out again. I mean, I think we can maybe pull ahead. I'm just going to yield through the turn. Am I yielding? Rear yielding. Okay. I can kill Karn. Can they make me sack a creature? Is that what he's going to make me do? Okay. Okay. They drain me for two every single time they do that. It's mean. Exile Profane Tutor. Okay. Okay, we're scooping here. We can't win this one. I admit it. I admit it. Okay, we lost. Okay, bong of 95. What, what would they be smoking? Okay. It's spazzing on me. I think our main game plan that we currently have is actually um, good against our opponent's deck. 
What is happening? Sanctifier is probably the only thing we're going to bring in here. Um, so we know they're running Karn, so we cut down a vial. Please, computer. Okay, there we go. I'm like running a one desktop setup. It's a little rough. <coughs> I th Saint Far is our best bet here. And um, Leon and Arbiter, that line is pretty good. Path to Exile doesn't do much. Archon's good. We're going to cut some Wisps. And another. No, Aether Ball will smooth out. Um, yeah, let's. Cut to actually. Let's cut a scrove. There we go. This is how we're gonna run it. We have to go first. We're not gonna skip our turn this time, um, and we might be able to pull this one out. Took each of us ten minutes to do that game. Man, I have him down to three. We're gonna play first. Yes. This looks like a hand. We will keep it. Turn one ghost quarter. Turn two Thalia, or turn one quarter vial into Thalia, into Sanctifier. <coughs> I don't want to take a ton of damage here, but there is some merit to leading on Horizon Canopy in case I can get the Sanctifier down faster, so we're going to do that. Peace out, Fabuloso. I appreciate you being here. I'll text you later. Okay. Thought sees. No. Okay. You know, they have a relatively slow deck, which is good for us. Um, ideally, we do want um, a planes or white source here another aether vial um, my reasoning for that is we want to be able to cast the light and shadow but we want damage on board so <coughs> as long as we can keep our opponent off of the uh the swamp plan, we're good. Ideally, yeah, that's kind of what I want them to do. Um, and then we hold off on activating the vial until... Yes. Solitude is good here. Three. Okay, sort of light and shadow. Slamming it down. We're bleeding life here. So here's our play. Um, ultimately, we want Ghost Quarter to take out the Cabal Coffers. Um... So whatever they do here, as long as they tap out, we're happy. So Field of Ruin, they might just literally pop one of our ghosts, um, one of our things with it. So in end step, um, we activate Vile. And we're going to put Sanctifier down. We'll equip Sanctifier. And then we're going to keep our Vial on to Because we'll get Thalia back. Say OK. No. Planes is good. Being able to fire off 
double ghost quarter seems pretty good run to equip <coughs> and pray they don't have an answer yeah they don't Okay, we are getting our Thalia back, so that is super duper plus. Um, then I think we do in ends. I think we want to vial this in in upkeep. And our main reason for that is we want to um, slow them down. Give me planes. I wish I had a uh, arbiter. Okay. I don't know if March is instant speed, but let's play around it like it is. Um, let me think. What do we bring in here? Oh, the coffers? Okay. We're just going to blow this off on that. It's a no-brainer. I mean, unless they want all these basics, which might be their play here. They might have damnation. I'm going to say no. I'm going to keep it on two. Okay, beautiful. We're going to swing with both creatures here. Okay, we're going to gain our life. Maybe we can actually take this deck down. Uh, yeah, use our ability. Gain that life. Okay, we're getting there. Let's see what our opponent does here. Okay. Wretched Sorrow. Okay, wait. Okay. We're going to activate Vile. We're going to say yes. We're going to put Arbiter in, and we're going to hit one of their lands, because my guess here is they're trying to get Karn down or they need to land sweet okay I'm fine going down on lands we'll get our Thalia back next turn keep the violin too there's a fourth land damnation sure that sucks ass okay <sighs> At this point, we tick our vial up. Man, this deck is hard to punch through. That sucks. Um, 
What do I do here? Here I play Aether Vial. I hope they don't have Karn. Maybe that was wrong. Um, make mana. Karn. Yeah, we just lost. Oof, this was a rough league, guys. I feel like we made a lot of misplays here and we could have won. Um, I apologize for the mistakes I've made. Um, there's an ensnaring bridge. I took out all the wisps, didn't I? You know, a card I'm liking a lot is the uh, Clue Maker card. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Dolly is cool. Probably just remove it. See what happens. And staring bridge that got us good. Ah, man, we were living the dream. We're so close. I'm going to probably just ee. -E. Oof. I'm just gonna let our opponent do our thing. Their thing here on one. Man, maybe 23 lands might be the right spot for this deck. I'm only playing 22, um, which might have been a huge mistake. Did they forget how Karn works? Or are they just wanting to try and kill him? Stoneforge is sweet. They got one card in hand. Let's play our Stoneforge. We're going to grab our Cauldra here. Because um, Living Weapon does work. It's the ETB. It's not activated. Um, we're grabbing Cauldra. Sucks that they have Damnation. Um, that was, I think, our one out. But we did our best. Again, us going down on lands is pretty hard. Oh. Wow, what an amazing play. Okay, Profane Tutor, sure. I mean, there's still a zero. Oh, yeah. Living weapon. Um, I don't even know if anyone's still watching. We have four people here. Yeah, the league's pretty much over. Um, if you guys have any questions or recommendations, please let me know. I unfortunately make mistakes all the time. I'm only human, and I'm only kind of okay at this game. So uh, just let me know down in the comments below. I'm just going to let the clock run out. Any recommendations for the list that you would do next time? Because clearly I can't build a deck. Maybe I'm just bad at playing. I'd be a little bit both. But I try my best. Another Archon. Man. What are we going to do? Okay, we're going to yield through our turn. That's what we're going to do. Opponent suspends. My guess is they're grabbing Torment of Hellfire. That's the best way they can win with the Karn Lock. That's what I would do. We've got two cards in hand. We can attack Karn now. An updated guide. Okay. Um, let me ask this. How would you like it 
updated trainer mic, what could I do best that would help? Um, should I do like short videos on a couple different deck tacks? Or should I just do an overall death and taxes guide? I know I think I left Yorian out for the most part, so I didn't have to worry about that. But um, yeah, well, what would you like to see? Because that's something I can definitely do. I don't have the cool green screen anymore um, just because of where I am. But yeah, I'm down. Yeah, one card in hand. Sack the germ. Man, yeah, we lo we're losing this one. Okay, yeah, I can definitely do. Oh my gosh, are you seeing this? Look at that, three archons. Um, anyways, I'm gonna end this, and then we can just go to a wrap up in a second. Um, GG's just drew all three of my archons sad magic is hard um i just like being goofy don't really give a shit we lost um anyways okay yeah i'll do a guide um definitely i'll have to think about it i'll do it, it might take a while but it'll come out um just because i'll have to write the script to the best of my ability um, I know that um, I might be moving in the next month so I might have kind of a studio where I can film um, but let me message this guy um, check me out on YouTube Oh, we lost. Uh, possibly found a place. We'll see. Um, we had, I know, the issue with the house, but we're just looking around still. Um, unfortunate that the house is all funky. Yeah. Okay, so wrap up. Pulling up the collection. That was pretty rough. Two wins and a couple losses. Let's just go over the deck real fast. Overall, I really liked the deck. Um, I will say the one thing, my one... Com oh, you can't see it. Hold up. Hold up. <coughs> Bless me, sir. Okay, now you can see the deck. I hope. Did I do it right? Yeah, we good. Okay, perfect. Um, so, I like the deck. I felt a little mana screwed with the Leon and Arbiter plan. Uh, just like I feel mana screwed when we're playing with the... Um, with the Boseju list. It's a little tough, a little rough. Um, Catmix sent me a new list tonight, so I'll probably run it next time I stream. Uh, give it a test out. But yeah. Um, Scroll Defector might definitely 
um, even out the deck a little bit. Super huge. One thing I will say is it was relevant to where Lauren probably as a two of or a one of with a couple Katakis might be good because we did run into the issue where we played against um, Affinity, which is back. I've played against a ton of Affinity lately. And then Path to Exile is really good against Hammer Time. It's super helpful, hits their main threats. Um, the one thing I've been sad about when we're not playing Boseju is it does make those matchups a little bit harder. We'll see Cat, mix, Max, Cat Mix's list and see how it does because it probably smooth it out to the best of its ability. Um, the other thing, Horizon Canopy, painful. Probably shouldn't be playing four of them with the four Ghost Quarters and the four Field of Runes. I'd maybe drop down, throw an Iganjo in, uh, the, the old Iganjo, because it's pretty good. Um, and then, other than that, part of me has also been missing Skyclave with the way the meta's playing. But I think Path to Exile really fixed that problem. But uh, we'll see what happens. We did play against some funky decks. We did play against Death Shadow, which I'm not prepared for. Um, and I misclicked. Could have won that one. And then um, we did play against Affinity. Again, should have known better. It's running around. And then that last one, Swampy Karn. Our deck is built well to beat it. But it just felt pretty bad. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys in the next one. And... Um, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It helps out a ton, and I appreciate everybody for joining me. Oh, I don't have to hit off, but anyways. Oh, hold up. One more thing. Check me out on Instagram, Banshee MTG.